what is going on everybody on the internet world in the internet land place um, so today I, I actually did a video earlier today on like a crappy iPod that I really should just throw the piece of crap away it's so old. it's first off it's old so therefore everybody's gonna say immediately like oh my god you should just upgrade it it's like you're, they're really really good you should go buy the new one and no I'm not gonna fucking do that assholes um, so yeah it's like a fucking iPod touch and it like really really sucks like the, the, the plug-in thing on it to like charge it is like so degraded and crappy that it's like there's no way you can really like actually fucking <laughs> you can't actually use it for like make it recording videos because the problem is is when you're trying to transfer the files I get this error all the time it says error IO problem because it, again it, the, the files cannot transfer because the fucking charging USB cable is not fucking properly working on there anymore the, the, the charging dock I've gotten di multiple different cables and they still still does not charge properly at all so you can be an Apple fanboy shithead and pretend like it's not Apple's fault but it is um, so yeah uh, so basically today's video I wanted to touch on a couple of topics mainly the first thing I want to talk about is child free heroes of mine uh, and I, I'm actually kind of glad that I even redoing this video because I forgot some names originally when I did the video so the first names the first name that I'd like to mention is Amy Goodman now she is a liberal not socialist but a liberal to my knowledge uh, news anchor and basically the founder of Democracy Now which is an independent uh, news organization that is non-profit which is just like why why aren't there more nonprofit news organizations? Oh, that's right because of capitalism. Uh, so, I mean, I guess in a way she might be advocating socialism, um, but she's also seems to me very clearly to be advocating for child free because again she's at, she's saying pointing out all these problems in the world, these sufferings, and she she is pointing out things that are like families that are suffering because of obviously the the, the situations in this country that that are making it so that people. They have nothing, and they they're gonna keep having nothing, and then they're gonna keep being natalists and breeders and, and pigs, and it's like yeah, it's, it's, if we don't if we don't equalize the system, then there's gonna be, you know, endless amounts of unrest, and with unrest comes the fucking breeders, because they, they feed on people's insecurities. The, the the breeding feeds on people's insecurities about themselves. So, Amy Goodman, she's an important, in my opinion, important uh, child-free voice in the community. Uh, even though she doesn't speak out about these things, and these a lot of these, in fact, most of these names in here are not uh, child-free at all. So, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, sorry, they are child-free, but they're not. Um, they're not. Uh, they're not anti-natalist vocally, or they they don't call themselves child-free, uh, and they never, they never did. So, yeah. So the next name would be Susumu Hirasawa. Now he is a Japanese uh, uh, composer, musician guy. And he's done soundtracks for a couple of movies and stuff like that. But basically, he um, he, he seems to me like some of a lot of his songs have an anti natalist or even a VHEMT style message to them. Like just the song uh, "Ride the Blue Limbo." Uh, you guys can look that up. But it's like to me, it's it's like a clear example of maybe his anti natalist rhetoric that he might that it, it, it it's just in my opinion anti natalist uh, views that he is saying. And that maybe people would notice it if I pointed it out. I don't know, but you can look up the translated lyrics song. It's in Japanese, but there's translated lyrics of it online. So yeah, so he has a lot of interesting songs that I think cover topics related to not wanting to be a part of this fucking machine, basically, the machinery of the 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 grinding fucking crunching capitalist fucking regime, really, um, or the grinding, crunching uh, regime of, you know, endless natalism, nihilism, and moral relativism, and anarcho-capitalism, you know, it, 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 we could look at that extreme too, I mean, basically he does not want the fucking ridiculous bullshit, so, yeah, he's interesting in my opinion, Sumo Hirasawa, check him out, uh, next time would be uh, Richard Stallman, uh, from, who is the, the founder of GNU, uh, which is a non-profit organization, which is... Uh, basically, um, 
no, sorry, the Free Software Foundation, which is a, 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 uh, a, a basically an advocate for GNU-based software, which is, is, is our, um, basically uses the GPL license, the general public license for uh, their software. So that means you can, you're free to edit the software and it's open source and everybody's allowed to, to view it basically. So this program here I'm using OBS that is, is actually released under the GPL version 3. So you can edit every that last bit of it. That's why it's so customizable um, and why so many people are using it. But they don't, they, again, they want to be partisan about it. So it's like, oh, but you know, this, I like this free, this program you have to pay for it. So we, let's just keep propping up that one and not supporting the, yeah, it's, again, it's just like they don't want us to just prop up the, the non-capitalist regime stuff. So it's like, there has to be people out there like Richard Stallman who are going to say, hey, we want free software. We want it now. We want it on every computer, you know, so that would be important, uh, really, really important to me, uh, or I think to just everybody, really, if they want freedom of information, it doesn't seem like people really want freedom of information because they, they really just, their operating systems don't indicate that very much because they don't, there's no way that they can, they don't have really much control. It's like, oh, there's the Google Play Store for Android and, there, and for, the IO, for iOS, there's the Apple Store and that's all you fucking got, basically. So... <laughs> Yeah, and, and you can't look at any of the source code for any of that. You can't change any of the options yourself. You cannot. I mean, just just think about the just the, the the actual difference between having a, a a program where you cannot change it at all, and where you can change it if, if for any reason whatsoever. You can change it any for if for any little line of code. You can change it, and this is something I've taken advantage of with with a, with a good number of my programs. Um, uh, now, I'm not trying to say I'm like a coding wizard or anything. What I'm trying to say is that you don't need to be a coding wizard to do that. If you want to change, let's say, the color of your taskbar, like I have here, purple taskbar, that's not the default, but you can change it by you know going in and changing a few settings uh, that you know you would not be able to get with these closed source uh, systems. And you can actually go in and, and change the the source code itself and you can compile the source code yourself for various programs and yeah so that that's important I think to really have those just free programs the free open source software or they call it FOSS if you know the lingo I suppose um, and the next one would be another uh, Linux advocate which is uh, Patrick Volderking and I just want to mention this guy because uh, uh, he uh, well obviously he's child free Richard Stallman is also child free uh, but Patrick Folder King, he's child free, and he's an advocate for Linux, and he's an advocate for even you know basically decentralizing decentralizing Linux because because really he he uses uh, he doesn't there's no centralized repository for Slackware, uh, which is his operating system that he basically uh, has defined uh, for himself, and yeah, basically you, you has his own separate package building system, so you you, you you know where the so what the source code is going to look like at the end of the, at the end at the end of the day because you're going to see um, in your in your terminal for example how the that the package is it compiling so you can see it and you can and you, again like I said change the source code and all that and he he is basically advocating for even more decentralization than um, I think Richard Stallman is and I think that's really interesting. Uh, also, I think it's really awesome that Slackware's mascot is the Linux penguin with this with the fucking pipe in his mouth. So, yeah. Um, next one would be Aesop Rock. Now, Aesop Rock, he is actually one of the first people I think that really introduced me to antinatalism. Now, obviously, he never said anything about it. Um, obviously, he's child free as well. Uh, he he. He basically has these song, his songs that are very pessimistic and anti-humanistic in nature. That if you listen to them, like I, I feel like because I listened to this to this album so many times, certain ones, um, especially the first couple that he did, like the basically the music for Earthworms, Float, and um, Bazooka Tooth, and uh, Labor Days. Um, and even None Shall Pass. Now I, li I listen to all of those albums quite a lot, and for me, to me, it seems like he is saying some stuff that's antinatalist. Now I did notice in one song that he did recently uh, that he said that he was 
a childless adult, uh, which makes me question if he is, you know, child free or maybe he just identifies as childless and he's still into natalis. I don't know. Um, but I, 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 in general, people tend to disagree with using the rhetoric anti natalist. They they kind of shy away from that word. Such as people like in Mendham, because that's why people are following him. He's more in favor of white supremacy and bigotry and transphobia and all that stuff than he is actually antinatalism. Um, he's, he, the only reason he's really opposed to Trump is because he disagrees with him on a few things, not because he's a racist or not because he's a fucking uh, demagogue or anything, because he's a demagogue. Basically, in, in Mendham is a demagogue, and everybody that's propping him up is, is, is supporting a demagogue, and, you know, I don't know, it's just really super stupid. Anyway, I hate to go on about him because he doesn't really deserve any more attention than he already has, in my opinion. Um, so the next one would be Lady Gaga. Um, she has no children, and she... Uh, now, m maybe I could be wrong, but the song Bad Romance seems to me like it could possibly be construed as anything. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just like way out there, going way too far, but, you know... I want your horror, I want your design, because you're a criminal as long as you're mine. And it, it, it sounds to me like she's almost like poking fun at the breeders there. And maybe I could be wrong, I don't know. Um, so then, and then another name uh, that I wanted to mention, who I actually talked a, uh, quite a lot about in my original video here that I did earlier this morning that, you know, like I said, had gotten all fucked up and on my from drawing transfers from my iPod and I can't even sign in on fucking YouTube on my iPod anymore. You can't even do that. On, you can't do that on BlackBerry either. They fucked it up so hard. You can't do that on BlackBerry. You can't sign in on BlackBerry um, to YouTube. You can't sign in on iPod Touch to YouTube because that's too old. No, no, you gotta upgrade to. You gotta fucking buy more shit. So, anyways, yeah, it's, it's good that I actually got on the topic of Shama. Oh, uh, sorry, Shama Sawant. That's how you pronounce your name. I always say Shama when I'm saying it to myself on accident, but it's Shama Sawant. Uh, she's a Seattle City Council member and uh, she is a, a socialist advocate. She is a member of the National Committee, that, uh, a socialist alternative, which um, to me guys, I think socialism is really key to internet because socialism is literally just by definition, it's what do the people want? Because capitalism is what do the corporations want? What do the people want is socialism by definition. So whether you agree with you know, taxing the rich and all that stuff, there's even libertarian socialists, but you need to use a socialist system to get what we want. I, there's no way we can get it under capitalism because racism, bigotry, and greed are what thrive under capitalism always. They never will not do that. So we have to change that system fundamentally or we're not going to get any of that change. But yeah, uh, as Shama Sawant, she's a, a, you know, a, a child-free socialist advocate. And she, she honestly, I, I, I appreciate her gusto because she is very, very like a strong, like she has a strong personality. And that's something that we really need if we want to spread our beliefs and we want to, that's what I'm saying, these people that I, I don't, I'm really against the anti-natalists that are wishy-washy, such as Jim Crawford, a.k.a. Jesus Christ. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really uh, important that we, that we have to go out and advocate for these things. And we can't pretend like everybody just agrees with us, like the big anti-natalist YouTubers do, such as Forever Wolf Films and Inmendum and Crawford and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera who just kiss ass. We can't do that because it's not gonna change anything. They're gonna say, yeah, I'm an anti dude, and then they're just gonna sit on their fucking ass and drink beer all day. Uh, which, by the way, beer isn't, most beer isn't vegan, so fuck you. Uh, <laughs> assholes, anyways, yeah, it's, it, oh, it's really hard to be a vegan because I can't drink beer. Uh, um, yeah, so, and then another one would be uh, really important, this one actually, Somebody who I think no, like everybody's just not covering on purpose, and it really pisses me off. This is Thomas Malthus. He authored the book Principles of Population. Now, he is the inventor, in my opinion, one of the inventors of antinatalism, antinatalist philosophy. This book it uses some principles that are related to saying that basically God is says that it's okay to, to have kids. You know, it's it's more like you know, basically, he's trying to convince the society God would have nothing wrong with the child-free people, and, and so he kind of just started off the movement, really. And so I think he is important. Though, of course, I'm not a Christian or a religious whatsoever. I don't believe in God. I'm an anti-theist, really. 
Um, but yeah, Thomas Malthus, just, I think he was a really revolutionary speaker, and he, re- and he again, he spoke out during a time when you know, the, the fucking Queen of England could have chopped his head off, so he had to publish his book anonymously at the time. So, um, yeah. Anyways, and then uh, Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss, a.k.a. Theodore G- Giesel, Giesel, I don't know how you say it. Uh, he is a, he, he was a child, basically, kind of a child-free advocate. I mean, basically, he said, his, his widowed uh, wife said that he was, uh, he was very happy, he lived his life very happy without children. And, uh, and he also seemed to be against the, the, the fucking capitalism, too, because he basically denied people from making like toys and shit about his um about you know his with his characters and he 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 had people try to basically try to make happy meals out of his uh, Dr. Seuss characters and he threw the fucking toys in his p- swimming pool cuz he was like appalled by them so that's pretty awesome I mean, he's just he's he, you know he stood up to capitalism in a way although it, he did before that before us to do the racist kind of uh, caricatures and stuff like that during World War Two, but uh, a lot of people were racist during World War Two. Let's face it, um, and we're still recoiling from that and as a society, I think. So I think people that want to just ignore white supremacy, pretend like it doesn't exist, they're being extremely, extremely disingenuous and just trying to kiss more ass to the people that are already white supremacists. So they, they mean again, since a lot of people are white supremacists are just. Pretend like you're not advocating for white supremacy, and then say your white say white supremacist stuff, and then it's like, yeah, okay, well, great, everybody subscribe to them right now. Yeah, agreed. That's what everybody does. So that's how it works. It's not they, they don't say implicitly white people are better, but they, I mean, they don't say explicitly that white people are better, but they say it implicitly. So and they they, they really do, um, especially with the fact that you know the anti nationalist community is propping up. Uh, Basically, all these 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 natalist people who are white people who already had kids. So it's basically you shouldn't have kids at all because it's really bad unless if you're whitey. So I'm trying to be consistent here and say nobody of any color should have kids, and we shouldn't excuse Crawford or like you know I don't even want to mention the other names because they're just like so vomit inducing. I've had to deal with these people too many times. Too many times. The people that are watching this probably know me, and they know, yeah, you, you're the fucking guy who's like said said that thing to me or whatever. So go ahead and, you know, fucking go try to leave another obnoxious comment. They they all get deleted. I see them. I, I read them, but I, they get deleted because I get to control the narrative on my own account. Unfortunately, guys. Sorry, sorry, but I'm not too sorry. Um, yeah. So what else we got? Uh, a. Philip Randolph. Now this was a kind of like, like a more minor kind of, of uh, a figure in uh, ch- the child free movement. Uh, he he um, he he was uh, somebody who actually got the uh, the president to desegregate the armed forces, like the military and all that stuff, um, in, in uh, 1948. Um, so, yeah, basically he he got he convinced Eisenhower to desegregate the armed forces, and then that led to desegregation of the White House and desegregation uh, of and obviously all the other government offices. Uh, so, yeah, so that's a really uh, cool guy I think uh, who did something that not a lot of people will even mention really. Most I I like I never really heard about him until I got into like college level history and government type classes where it's like yeah he, this is like somebody who they're going to bury his ass because he's a said he's a socialist but he actually did something for the world that changed the bigoted natalist nihilist moral relativist fucking uh, anarcho-capitalist system so that's significant okay so that was part one. So that's that's basically my part one there, which is my child-free heroes. All those people on that list that you just heard about, they, none of them had any kids. Very, very easy not to have kids. I mean, seriously, Thomas Malthus did it. He didn't have fucking kids, and that was like in the 1700s, you know. And somehow these anti-natalist people are going to criticize him because, oh, yeah, well, he was just grumpy. That's because he didn't have any sex. Yeah, that, that's really, I mean, this is really the level of 
like maturity we're dealing with in this community. It's, it's literally people that don't have IQ over fucking 90. So, yeah, it's really sad. Uh, so, next one, next, next basically topic that I'm going on to is what's wrong with this anti-natalist? So I have another list here of uh, basically these things that I think that anti-natalists need to, to speak up for more um, and they, they generally, I mean, in, fact, in fact, a lot of them seem to be opposed to it, so that's why I made this list. So, antinatalist. What's wrong with saying that all antinatalists should be child free? I don't understand. Like, every, like I said, every antinatalist before Crawford, zero fucking goddamn children at all, assholes. Fuck you. Um. <laughs> Uh, uh, it, so you're just gonna let him in because again he's whitey. So since he's white, blue-eyed, blonde-haired fucking guy, he, again what is whatever he does is right because of moral relativism. Um, and uh, yeah. So and then so the next one is what is antinatalist? What is wrong with socialism? So as I was harping on earlier today. Um, what? How? How can we really get any of these antinatalist things that we want through to our uh, to a government level without socialism? Because socialism is literally just advocating for what do the people want. Capitalism is you. You have to be a partisan hack to say you advocate for capitalism because you're literally just advocating for corporations. The corporations run the whole system as a cap when, with capitalism. Socialists. They, that means the people run the system. So people that have un, unpopular ass opinions. Uh, they they don't have much power in that system, right? Uh, but like they don't have much they, they don't have much power in socialism, and so the, the problem is is that like, when, when somebody like in Venom who says stuff like he denies the Holocaust and you know you know transgenders are just like psychological and all that stuff, and you know he's basically acting like shock of God, uh, you know a, a Christian fundy. And he says these things that are, uh, you know, extremely egregious and, and, you know, against the YouTube community guidelines. And then they get upset when he gets his account and gets strikes on them. And he just wants to keep um, like breaking the rules. You're, like by again, keep going back and back and back. And you broke the rules. And you broke the rules. No, no, no. You're not allowed. You're not allowed on the fucking YouTube, asshole. Anyways, <laughs> fuck. It's just ridiculous. Um, but then I'm sure they're just people are just gonna respond by like banning my channel and striking me out or whatever. So, but that's but that difference is I don't have any illusions of grandeur about the shit. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Emmanuel wants to prop up the white supremacist capitalist regime, and and, and so does Forever Wolf Film. So does the friendly antinatalist. So does Metamorph, uh, aka Jesus Christ. So does uh, fucking. Basically, the ninety percent of people with kids—they all want to prop up natalism, nihilism, moral relativism, anarcho-capitalist bullshit. So they don't want—they don't actually can want to consistently apply the laws to all people. They want to be partisan hacks because they only like their friends that agree with them. So I'm I'm against fucking people having children, but the fucking we shouldn't be kicking out the Mexicans, assholes. Seriously, I don't care how many kids they have. They fucking they were born here. Why the fuck should we kick them out? They didn't. They they literally. Where the fuck are they supposed to go, assholes? And it's, well, somehow the majority of Americans agree with that. So you have to be consistent with your application of logic. But nobody has logic. That's why. That's why I'm saying these people. They pretend like they won already. They, they these these comfortable antinatists. They just pretend like they won the game already, and everybody already agrees with them. But that's not true. They just can't admit to themselves that somebody would disagree with them. I am already operating on the premise that fuck you all. Like you don't agree with me at all, so I'm saying fuck you. I'm against you. That's why it's called fuck it all radio. You know. So, anyways, so again, um, my next one thing on the list is antinatalist. What is wrong with ego death? Uh, so we're gonna die too. I actually, did a video about this earlier today, and I thought it was fantastic, and it really touched on all the things that I wanted to would have said. Um, so you go check out his video now if you want. It's the most recent one. You know, basically, if you want to find it, and this is an older video, just go look up the video that he uploaded the same day as this one. Anyways, um, but basically, yeah, ego death. We need to have the ego death in order to advocate against antinatalism. If you basically, again, you're being a 
a a partisan hack if you're not fucking advocating for ego death because you're just saying the word antinatalism without applying any other logic to it, which is almost it was really necessary. So you have to to not think of yourself as special in order to advocate antinatalism because if you think you're special, then again you're advocating for racial supremacy. You're advocating for one one group deserves to have kids. You know, one group deserves to be here. The other one doesn't because that's what capitalism does. That again, we're we're literally the whole world society operates based on white supremacy, and it has for hundreds of years since the beginning of the fucking African slave trade. And we can we can agree this. You know, we can just pretend like that's somehow disagreeable, but it's actually true. And the fucking the racist fucking white supremacists that rule the country and they already have all the power can pretend like they're being you know, oh my god you know I'm being victimized but you're not you're not we, we, there's we, we don't even have any control over you whatsoever, but if, I'm saying if we did then I'd be saying no more white supremacist shit no more black supremacist shit no more any of that. So um, yeah so so the next one would be yeah I'll get to my next topic actually which is misanthropy. So, Antonellus, what the fuck is wrong with misanthropy? So, why should we be opposed to... We're saying that the human race is bad and we should die out. What the fuck does that lead us to other than to say that the human race is bad? You know, to say that the human race does basically nothing but good. 90% of people have kids. That's mostly people doing bad. So, what the fuck? You know, it's like... It's like you you have to have that logic if you in my opinion if you have to be an antinatalist it really you really do because it's like there's there's no point in kissing the asses of the worst species the this worst species on the planet according to antinatalism is the worst species on the planet so why would we be kissing their ass why would we be pretending like they're all our fucking buddies we shouldn't we really really shouldn't and most people aren't your buddies in life that's what people don't want to admit to themselves that that they, they they really these people would not stick to them through thin and thin they really aren't there for them the vast majority of the time, but they, they're very insecure about that, and they really think want to think that they're much more important than they are. So that's why they don't advocate for misanthropy. And also, the next one on the list: what the hell is wrong with pessimism? So I did a video on that the other day. What is wrong with pessimism? I don't know. If we're supposed to be antinatalists, saying the human race is bad, and that generally things just go bad. Ninety percent of people have kids. That's mostly bad. You know. What, what, how does that antinatalism not lead you to that logic? I don't understand. You know, it's just a, it's just a waste of time. It's a really a waste of time to even talk with these people because they, they just, it's, antinatalism is like the, the, it become like a religion. It's like, you can't question it. I, I'm, I'm the true believer. You can't question it. And it's real. And, you know, even though I advocate for all these things that are literally against antinatalism in every way, you know, I'm going to, you know, I go out there and say, you know, I'm anti list when it's like again you're you're advoc you're saying that the, the human race is special and especially in, in the anti list case so most of these people they're just saying they keep advocating for this Crawford guy Crawford 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 he's white blue eyed male okay so because they want to advocate for racial supremacy and advocate that one species one culture is more refined than the other and all that shit they will go to any lengths to deny pessimism because they say the whitey does good. But the, the, the darkies do bad. So, y'all are fucking idiots in that respect. The, the anti nihilist community needs to wake the fuck up in that respect. Seriously. Uh, so, and then the last one on the list is decentralization. So, anti nihilist, what the hell is wrong with decentralization? Um, it, it, we want to get to a point where it basically... The, our local governments and our, our uh, you know basically bottom down you know you know you know they the governments represents us then we have to again step away from going to Starbucks or going to fucking Walmart it, it, we have to try as much as we can not to support the people because again it's propping up natalism again it's it's just propping up okay so and, and, and especially with these supporting the the top one percent. We're, we're basically making it so there's more kids being born by having the top 1% because the people that work for these giant 1% corporations, they, they don't have money. They don't have – they fucking don't even give them education. It's like you know in Indiana, they don't even give you sex ed. It's like you know, this, is, this is exactly the, what happens when you fucking kowtow to 
the globalization movement and buying your shit all made from China and wherever. You just don't care, right? It's like you have to have you're trying to have the system decentralized. You have to make it so that there we 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 can't just we have to prop up a community. We can't just prop up one thing or one business or one person as like a god or like they're they're superior and so they deserve to have these patents on our fucking lives like Windows does. You know, it's like so it's pretty absurd. So but that's about it for the video guys. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this right now. So yeah, peace.